Welcome to the yard. The yard is located just outside of McCovey Cove across from AT&T Park. The yard brings an anchor steam beer garden, a coffee shop, retail shops, and a waterfront deck to the neighborhood across from Lefty O'Doul's Bridge. The 18,000 square foot setup is comprised of 15 shipping containers recycled from the port of Oakland. I spoke with a few Giants fans who shared their impressions of the pop-up village. I am celebrating my birthday. Came to the Giants game, my favorite place to be. Now is this your first time at the yard? This is my first time at the yard. What do you yard. think of it? I think it looks incredible and I can't wait to grab a beer and have a seat and look at McCovey Cove. I think it is a great concept. I'm interested to see how it progresses. As long as they keep bringing some new Sussex, I'm good. In addition to the Anchor Steam Beer Garden, the yard hosts several popular mobile off-the-grid eateries. Senor Sig Sigs, Proposition Chicken, and the Courtyard are just a few of the food trucks who call the yard home. Not only is the yard a great place to catch a ball game and grab a beer, it is an absolute moneymaker for the San Francisco Giants. The yard is just phase one of the Mission Rock development. Giants CEO and President Larry Bear has a much bigger plan for the land outside of the cove. In an interview with Forbes, Bear discussed the Giants' plan for expanding the Giant brand. Mission Rock has an opportunity, creates an opportunity for us in this franchise to totally reinvent the franchise. Because what we're doing here at 27 Acres is creating a really a new um, neighborhood. Uh, it's very, very exciting. And um, we're in the real estate business. The Giants franchise was recently valued at $2 billion, the fourth most valuable Major League franchise. Because the yard is located outside of the ballpark, all revenue created by the Mission Rock development will bypass Major League Baseball's revenue sharing agreement and go straight into the Giants' pocket. The yard opened two weeks ago and is a huge success amongst fans and local San Franciscans. From the yard, I'm Connor Smith with the Academy of Art University's K-Art News.